Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Litz, and we're back for some more Witcher 2. I'm just making sure there's no one sneaking up behind us, because it really sounded like it for a second there. But last time, we had to choose between siding with a dragon and siding with a sorceress. And I know, I know, we did pick the sorceress, and you're probably thinking, Litz, what on earth are you... What are you, what are you doing? Surely, the dragon was the way to go. Ooh, don't mind if I do. And, you know, sure, a dragon is pretty fearsome, don't get me wrong. Makes sense that that's not really the type of enemy that you'd like to be making, but then again, I think we do also need to remind ourselves that that dragon is currently mind-controlled by a sorceress who has... Oh, okay, that's where we came from. A sorceress who has done any and everything that she can to sabotage us and is... For the most part, the person who is let who's made all this stuff happen. All this craziness. So, uh, for that reason, I think, you know, sorceress versus mind controlled dragon. I guess I'll take the sorceress. Uh, where are we where are we fighting? Those guys over there? Probably. Also apparently, there's a circle of power there. Um, yes, please, please, fine. So, we're off to rescue Triss. Which may or may not be the right choice, but we'll see. Oh, excuse me, sir. Fortunately, the Nilf Guardians, they aren't so strong. Now, I apologize both for what I have said and what I probably will continue to say regarding the Nilf Guardians and how... Oh, what are these silver rings? I am... Canadian Porter? If we just poke our head over here, that's enough to make it over there. Um, I have gotten some Nilf Guardians mixed up. I think that I mixed up the Diplomat and the Met, uh, Magician, Sorcerer, Sorcerer, I guess. Um... Let's go. Oh, up here, probably. So, Fitz Austerlin, the. Oh, come down? Okay. Probably more Nilf Guardians? I imagine we're not out of the woods just yet. Yup! Hello! Fitz Austerlin was the diplomat, and he appears to now be dead. But I think I mixed him up with Deathmold, who's the magician. I keep on saying magician. Sorcerer. We just we always hear about the sorcerers. We never hear about the sorcerers. Can we down, go down here as well? No. So I guess part of me wants to say magician for that reason. Aim saved, you say? Uh. Okay, should I take the hint? I mean, we're about to. Find some friends over here, perhaps. This does appear to be the place where the quest marker is indicating that we're supposed to go. So yeah, I think I basically combined those two people in the past. Which has maybe made it a little bit difficult to determine who exactly has been doing what. Uh, that's a... Yeah, that's a lot of guys. Um, also, we're kind of like about to walk into this place where you can't easily escape when we're surrounded by all those people. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. It's like the perfect ambush place. Did you really place. think you could just prance in here? Make the Emperor proud. Kill him! Okay. As I said, oh, ow. I swear you guys didn't actually get us there. It seemed like you were too far away. Like I was saying before, Milk Guardians, for whatever reason, seem to be comparatively fairly easy to fight relative to... Oh, man, we're taking a lot of damage. Relative to... The Tamarians that we were fighting a ways back, back when we were just like accidentally poking our heads in the Tamarian area. So that does help. The Imperial army strikes are endless. Oh, we're actually dealing a lot of damage. Oh. But granted, we got really sloppy at the beginning there, and that's probably going to hurt us. Oh, 
and that is inopportune timing. Okay, we also need to get that back up now. Probably should have, yep. Giving ourselves a little more wiggle room before we started making the sign come up again. I really need to just kick some of you guys off. One by one. You did hit me. Hey. Uh, bad, bad place to stand. Lucked out there. Okay. Wish this area was just a little bit bigger. And you didn't use your swinging attacks so often. One down, or no, he's not down. I object. Now it's just two. Theoretically, and I was gonna say it should get a lot easier, but apparently not. Oh man! Thought we got a free hit in there. We did not. Oh, you blocked that? Oh, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there as well. Oh, I missed. Solid whip. Okay, he's doing a spinning move. Okay, there's still more of them. Okay, I know I was saying they're fairly easy to fight, but that's like one-on-one, -on -one. they're fairly easy. And we're fighting 10 of them, and I got sloppy at the beginning, and we took a boatload of damage from that, then they get a lot trickier. Uh, do we still have this up? I think we do. But yeah, we definitely still have our shield up. Not anymore, though. That came up just in the nick of time. Love to get rid of this guy who's on low HP. We did not successfully do. Not quite. Or that time. Nope, nope, nope. You're the one. Get out of here. Ow. Also bad timing. Get out, get out, get out! Drop, drop the sign! Oh, we are out of vigor at the moment. We have been basically using our signs as soon as we get vigor back, which is a little bit dangerous, because that means we could find ourselves in a situation like this where now we just need to dodge, dodge, dodge. I waited long enough to at least get a little bit more vigor. Give us the tiniest bit of wiggle room! I think they did technically get a hit on us there. We got very lucky that that wasn't a killing blow. That also could have been the end of us right there. Get out, get out! Giving ourselves a little bit of time. That's as long as I think we can wait. Get out. I just want to finish somebody off. We're splitting our damage way too much between these guys. Which does fortunately mean that eventually we should be able to take out a bunch pretty quickly. We have two that are almost dead. Alright, there's one that's dead. One more that's pretty low. This guy. Oh, 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 I thought that was going to be the end of us there. They are doing a better job blocking than I would like them to do. Really hoping this is the last wave. Alright, 
You are the last one, buddy boy. Which means, well, I mean, theoretically, perhaps we could go a little more aggressive against this guy and use our last remaining vigor, but I feel like we do want to play a little safer than that. Just poke away at him whenever we get the chance. Oh, oh. Wait for, wait for. oh, I thought he was done with that combo. He was not. You have two bigger now. Maybe we can. Oh, that was. What? What? Okay, we had a sign up. We had it up, and then I pressed it again, which was unnecessary. But if anything, should have meant that we had an extra Ard going for a double, I mean, not that you can get a double shield, but there was no way he was supposed to deal damage to us there. What I meant to do was instead use a more offensive sign. Of course, I didn't switch to the other sign, but I meant to do something like, oh, did I say Ard? I meant, um, Quen. We should have had, if anything, just replenished our Quen there. I meant to switch to an Ard and finish him off with an offensive sign. But, uh, I don't know about that. We absolutely had one up there, a Quen up. So we had really think you could no reason why we should have taken damage. So I think now, obviously, we can be smarter here. We know that we are going to fight many enemies, not just a few. And we can actually allocate this level skill point from the level, and getting some extra vitality might not be a bad thing. Actually, vitality with damage reduction, though, it's not quite as much vitality. It'll be 25 less. So remember, we already have the 25 here, but 5% damage reduction to go along with it is maybe the kind of combination we might be looking for. Otherwise, additional critical effects, significantly more, that might be helpful, but just a little too gimmicky, I think. We might need more of the, the fundamentals on this occasion. And just some solid execution we didn't have last time. Yeah, and look at the what the next level does. 100 more vitality and 10% more damage reduction on top of that. So that'd be pretty amazing. But okay. We know what we need to do now. And that is first and foremost... Not to take a bunch of damage when we're fighting just these guys. So I think I'm going to play it safe to begin here. Make sure we have Quen up pretty frequently. And take it slow against these guys, basically. Because I think that was largely our issue. As we tried to play it too quick. When we were fighting these first round of enemies. On the assumption that we were only going to have one. Which was, of course, not the case. How'd you block that? Just right after the end of your attack. I'm surprised. Ooh, ooh, hold up. Get back up. So one thing about the Quen side is that even when they do hit us and they remove it, the static electricity stuff around us, it does stay for a little while, and it's a little misleading. It does potentially lead you to believe that you still have it up, even when you don't. And I wonder if maybe that's what happened when we did get killed that previous time. But, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't think we got hit at all that time. And we were about to cast another one, so it was odd. But, I think... At least to start things off here. Oh, that was a long combo. I think to start things off, we're in better shape. But let's not watch that. The last guy of this round. The there we go. Ranks are endless. Yeah, you know that part. That part you weren't terribly wrong about. Ooh, ooh, okay, and there are more people in this wave. So I'm not sure if I realized that in the previous time round. Pretty sure we have fewer enemies last time. Just 
means uh, it gets harder. Crowd control is the real problem. That's why it's hard to deal the damage, because it feels like there are very few opportunities to actually go in and fight the guys without getting in. Granted, we can be a little more aggressive potentially, since we aren't on death's door already, but still. Easier said than done. I feel like I'm walking away from the guys, and in doing so, I always end up walking into another one, because there's so many of them. But getting two down is significant. That was actually a lot of damage that we dealt there. But this guy, I suspect the next wave might come soon. So I remember the second, or the third wave rather, came before we finished everyone. Watch out for the spinny move like that. Let's try to get some bigger back before we. That! Oh, I was really hoping that that was gonna hit the guy with one HP. Let's finish him off. That will, though. Come on, last guy in the previous wave. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Was technically a waste of vigor. Couple free hits on that guy, it's nice. Is this the guy on low HP? No, it is not. This guy that is on full HP, and I did not roll away from as quickly as I would have liked. These guys have full HP, or very close to full HP. It's not really what I'm looking for. I want to finish this guy off. There we go. Now we're at least with just three of them. Ooh. Help if I actually hit them, of course. Ooh. Don't hit. And I would say that once we get them low enough, I'd be willing to start to use offensive signs, but given what happened last time, it's maybe not a great idea. Granted, like I said, we have played much more, I don't want to say defensively, because we did play defensively the first round too, it's just that we botched the beginning. We're playing defensively with very little margin for error the previous go round, whereas this time we're playing defensively with a lot more margin for error. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Wanted to just run in for a quick poke on the guy with low HP. Uh, get out of there. Okay, one more down. You're almost down as well. Both of you are fairly low at the moment. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Damage deflection, though. Doing good work there. And there. Put the shield on, just in case. It did look like the last of them, but... Uh, I don't know. Superb milk guard with the trousers. Looks like we're going to be getting a lot of those. It's a lot of loot, because I mean, we did just fight a bazillion of them, right? How good are these Nilfgaardian items? Well, we'll find out soon enough, I think. Silver rings we are getting from basically all of them. I hope those are good. They're probably technically junk. Quote-unquote junk. But they can at least sell for something. And that'd be kind of nice. I think that is... More or less all the sacks of loot from those guys. So let's save up here, given how <laughs> that fight did not go so well the first time. Be ashamed to have to do it again. Keep the Nilf Guardians and find the place where Trix is kept. I imagine we're getting close. But this also looks like it's right in the middle of the Nilf Guardian camp. Congratulations, Witcher. 
They were my best men. Eh, they weren't so great. Choose better ones next time. Uh, yes, but also Tris, I'm mostly here for Triss. Join me. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? Yeah, witchers, witches, you know. Let's not say too much. There are things you and your kind will never comprehend. Your kind? That's harsh. Friendship. Tell me, is the friendship of traitors and conspirators worth it? Uh, she has information that would be very useful to us. Your friend and the other witches conspire against your rulers. Yes, but Triss is sort of an outsider of that group, it seems. Because that's my suspicion as to why they turned her into the figurine that they did. They basically froze her and incapacitated her. Because my guess is that she knew of, or at least had reason to believe, that all these things were going to happen with the king slaying. And that she was not so cool with it. And therefore they were like, okay, well, I mean, we can't just let you go on with that information. Otherwise you will sabotage her plan. So we have to take care of you somehow. And hence... They turned her into, like, a figurine, because that's, of course, the first thing you'd think of. How do you know that? From the best possible source, she confessed. So she does know some things, for sure. Convince her to do that? But as for how her the confessions of involved Lord she was. I don't believe you. Mm. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe okay. now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show. Surround him! Oh. More. Ow. Oh. Hello. Yeah, there, there's a lot of you. Um, I probably should have thrown a, a, some kind of shield on very early. I'd like to get rid of the range, guys. It's usually the way to go. No, none of this from Nilfgaard stuff. Nobody likes Nilfgaard. I would think that if anything, you guys would have known that at this point. Excuse me, Mage Dude. Mage Dude. Enough of that. Enough of that, Mage Dude. Ow, stop that. Not cool. Alright, some mages down. That should be significant. Archer number one is down. That should help a lot. I think they are technically the ones that are picking off our cleanse sign, which is annoying. Since it means that we can't have it up when we're fighting the actual foot soldiers. Okay, Archer number two down. I think you are technically Archer number three, even though you're currently wielding a sword. There we go. Oh, okay. Yep, of course there's more. We did see those guys, so we probably should have known that they would eventually be coming for us. I'm not a fan of shield bearers in general. They are significantly more difficult to damage. Oh man, yep, we are on low HP. Because those mages, I think it was the mage in particular, I guess there's only one of them. Mage along with the archers definitely bled us dry of some of our HP. I'd like to get rid of the non shield guy and just finish you off. Granted, I hit the shield guy as I was saying that. Okay. Three shield guys left. Oh, is that actually the leader? That might be. Guy without the helmet, I think it's the leader. So we may theoretically want to. Oh, uh oh. May want to start to use offensive signs at this point. I would consider it. Wish we had some vitality regeneration. That would be so helpful. Nope, nope, nope. Get out of there. All right, we should be uh, blocking against some of these guys. That is one of the few ways in which to deal damage to shield dudes. Is 
if I always mess it up. <laughs> So, uh, could I axie one of you guys? That would be very helpful. No, seemingly you are too strong-willed. Allow me to do that to you. Uh, so this is a little bit of a risk, starting to use the offensive signs. So that does mean we're on lower... Uh bigger if and when we do lose our our Quen because so we don't restore vigor when we have Quen active Die, oh, like right now basically so what I'm gonna do is deliberately try to dodge around a bit buy us enough time to get it back then rinse repeat Make sure we always have at least one left. This does mean that we need to get hit at this point. Otherwise, we won't get any back. I'd like to still fight you guys one at a time to the extent that that is possible. Well, that's not the slide I wanted. Uh-oh. That was almost a nasty surprise. was, but fortunately, <laughs> gave ourselves enough wiggle room. Yep, so, hadn't been using Igni very aggressive in the past, but it is a relatively safe way to fight, because then we can, you know, be a baby, have our, uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. We can be a baby and have our sign up the entire time, our Quen sign, shield up the whole time. While still dealing damage. Yeah, this guy's almost down. Would be just infinitely easier if we could take one of these guys out. There we go. Okay. So I like that. You're probably next. There's a chance that this whole encounter ends as soon as we take care of the leader. That might be the case, but we'll make things a little more straightforward by making sure that we get his friends as well. Come on, get at me. Now we run. Make sure we're on Quen. Now we can go with me. And we probably should be trying to follow up with some... Uh, sword swings as well when we do the, the Igni, because it does knock them back a bit. So that would be one of my criticisms of this strategy. Is we just be a little more aggressive. Like that. Ooh, that did use our Gwen, which I almost didn't realize. Quen alone should be enough to finish the weaker of the two guys. Which I think means that it's time to start focusing on you, my friend. And now it is finally a 1v1. I know we did preemptively use it that time, but I think that'll be fine. That was dangerous, because that left us with no vigor for a second here. Use fire. Oh, we actually... We do still have our current Quen up, which means we're not going to store any. That was why it wasn't coming back. Even when I delayed. Okay. Now, we'll do this... I failed. You sure about that? Not over yet. Um, I'm not really sure what happened there. <laughs> I 
Might this be enough now? There we go. The most inefficient way to do that fight. But hey, it was relatively safe. Guess is that we're gonna wanna look in some of these huts here. I'm curious how good these Nilf Guardian swords are. And in general, all the Nilf Guardian gear that we're picking up. Whoa, that is a lot of damage. At least it looks like it's a lot of damage compared to what we're currently using. On the low end, it's much better. High end, it's slightly better. It does not have quite as much other critical effects. There's a little bit of life as well. It does have some bleeding. It's still less bleeding than we would have if we kept Wah here. So, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. As for the armor, though... Whoa. Whoa! That looks absurdly good. Yeah. Uh, I think this is new. Because this looks like this is a letter from the Emperor to this captain who we just defeated. Private and confidential, I agree with the conclusions of your reports. Fist Ochsterlin has failed, and we cannot allow his ineptitude to foil on my plans. I hereby authorize you to resolve this problem by any means you deem fit, should such a needs ar need arise. So they were looking to get rid of Fitz Osterlin, the, um, the diplomat. As for the boots, those are identical to the ones that we are currently using. The trousers also look identical. We picked up a whole lot of them. I'm assuming all the Nilfgaardian swords are the same. Yeah, there's the Fitz Osterlin note that we saw earlier missed these guys almost missed our one ore in there would have been the end of us i'm sure probably pass on the leather and this dust can be good though so we'll make sure to take that but i want to make sure we check what's in here oh another letter okay Diagram. Nilf Guardian gauntlets. That sounds like those could be very useful. Um, just ignore the fact that we are currently standing inside of this whatever it is. Let's check out that note. This is the, the diagram for the gauntlets, which I'm assuming probably better than the ones we currently have. Two armor, reduction for magic is better. Resistance bleeding is the same. Resistance incineration is the same, it just doesn't have the plus five maximum load. But we did get a lot of maximum load from the armor that we just picked up. Now, this, however, this we need to read. Ambassador Shilard Fitz Osterlin's third letter to the Emperor. Ooh, I don't know if we've gotten all of the other ones at this point. I don't know if that means we need to go back to be sure, but maybe we'll get them out of order, or maybe I'm just misremembering. To His Imperial Majesty. Emperor of Nilfgaard, Emir Bar Emrys. Private and confidential. Your Imperial Majesty, as your Imperial Majesty foresaw, my negotiations with Henselt proved an uphill battle. Okay, so we did see Fitz Osterlin with Henselt. That was the person that I'm pretty sure we saw with Henselt first, when we first discovered that Triss was in that figurine state, and that that was not Death Mold, although, again, I might have been mixing those two up, so I could be wrong there. You rejected your Imperial Majesty's proposition. I'm not sure if we actually know what that proposition was, though. Furthermore, I believe the so-called Lodge will soon cease to serve our aims. Oh, were they supporting the Lodge for a little while? For now, the headstrong sorceresses are mitigated by the actions of Witcher Geralt. But in my opinion, he knows too much already and will need to be eliminated soon. Upon the conclusion of the Summit of Loch Muin, I will immediately inform your Imperial Majesty of the Summit's results and of the circumstances of the Witcher's death. Your Imperial Majesty's ever faithful servant, Shilard Fitzosterman. Hmm. So Nilfgaard, <laughs> it does kind of seem like Nilfgaard was all over the place. They were helping the sorceresses, 
They were trying to do a deal with Hensolt. They were like, well, there's also this Geralt guy that maybe we want to try to do something to take care of him. Maybe they were assuming that someone else was going to take care of us. Um, how do we get over to where that quest indicator is pointing us, though? Seeing him right here. Ish. More leather. Oh, I saw, I saw the diamond dust. Can't sneak that one past me. Yeah, it's gotta be down here, right? Hello! There's a face we haven't seen in a very, very long time. At least, not in person. Anyone down here we should know about? Any traps? Let me just go straight into talking with you. Alright, Triss. Are you kidding? The only person you Ooh. expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. That's not I what the other guys were saying. To find you. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. Uh, but these things are kind of important. Although that's a little, yeah. I just do. Listen, Triss. There's a lot happening in Lockwein. A lot's happened since you turned into that figurine. The fact that I'm here means I'm not helping your men, and I abandoned Saskia. In some sense, yes. I fought my way through the Nilfgaardian camp to learn why you lied to me. That's not true. I know about the lodge. I know the lodge was behind Demavent's assassination. I know Triss Marigold is a member of the lodge. It's not like that. Show me the error in my reasoning. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. Mm -hmm. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. I mean, I'd like to believe Triss, but... Yeah, I think Triss, I do trust, but obviously she's been heavily involved with this group that is very distrustful. So we want to encourage Triss to distance herself a little bit from the Lodge and make sure that she's clearly an ally, because we could use more of those right about now. Calm down, Triss. Reynold F. Madsen claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some of Guardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanos massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip is not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. Yeah, using a... a... elven woman who was actually a mind-controlled dragon doing everything that they want to uh, run the show. And, you know, weakening, weakening all the neighboring states so that she could take over. So, uh, yeah. Uh, all these are, <laughs> are mean. The best laid schemes of mages and men. Philippa and That's not the quote. Lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Yeah. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated rule. Oh. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley. Demavend and Stennis. Hmm. Really? But then why did they kill Demavend then? I thought that they were basically just 
I would have assumed that Saskia was the plan all along, that they were deliberately weakening Tamaria first and foremost by taking out Foltest. Well, I guess Demavend did come first, but Foltest and Demavend, and also the whole war with uh, over the Pontar Valley that included Redania and also uh, Kedwin with Henselt. That basically having everyone fight was just weakening everyone so that you could have the ruler of your choice take over. And in this case, that being Saskia. The reason they pick Saskia over anyone else is because Saskia is actually a dragon, so it's not like you can just easily go all Assassin of Kings on her and take her out. So, uh, and then you mind control her so that you can do anything you want with her. Uh, and I already forget what this uh, what we were talking about. I'd choose the same if I were her. Demavend didn't have a network of spies oh. anywhere near as good as Hensolt's or Radovid's. Mm -hmm. Nor could he count on the loyalty of such men as I would do for any much. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Mm hmm Yeah, because we did see Letho, Sheila, and Philippa all around that megascope within the span of a very short duration of time. This was also right when Triss was over there investigating it, so that certainly muddied the waters a little bit, made it seem as though some of those people were affiliated. Now, of course, we know that some of them definitely are. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to, but we never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the Witchers of the School of the Viper. Mm -hmm. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Yeah. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. Yeah. There was some interference as we teleported to Edern. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I met the troll who fell in love with you. He saved me. Tended to my wounds. But when he started treating me like a caged canary, I fled. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Uh, bad idea. Yeah, Lando wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant. No, 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 no. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a wolf guardian spy. Really, though? I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Nguyen. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. And fortunately, I don't think there's too much there that we didn't already know. It's mostly just confirming our suspicions. Oh, yes, but you did not say too much about Foltest there, nor did you directly reference Saskia. And what doesn't make sense to me either is why Flotsam? Because immediately after killing Foltest, Letho fled to Flotsam, and he was in a big hurry to do it. But there was nothing in Flotsam outside of the Cairn. I feel like the Cairn was just meant to distract us and hold us back while Letho had the opportunity to escape. Um, Yorveth was there, but there wasn't any clear partnership between Letho and Yorveth. I mean, they tried to do something, but supposedly Yorveth said that Letho deceived him. But why was, why did Sheila need to be there at all in that case? Was it just a location for Sheila and Letho to meet up, or Letho to get his payment? I don't know. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, with no strings attached. Yeah. A fairy tale, but Saskia Right, Saskia was... Saskia backed Philippa, 
little too blindsided. Philip controlled Saskia with her spells. You may not know that. Okay. Yeah, that isn't so surprising. Coming to Loch Muin, Radovid had her imprisoned and then blinded. That's impossible. I was there. It's definitely true. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavan's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demavend was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. Yeah, so it might have been Sheila doing a little bit of her own thing, separate from Philippa, perhaps? But I assumed that taking out Demoved and taking out Foltes was part of the same plan, but... Eh, Chris seems to be suggesting that may not have been the case. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill the monster under a few orders. Yeah. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. Right. She won from Yorvan. The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do, given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. Hmm. Okay. So Sheila needed to know that Saskia would have the support of the Scoyatel, so that if Henselt attacked, Saskia wouldn't get defeated, and that would have ruined their plan if Saskia didn't emerge as this war hero to take the throne. So that seems like an awfully large stretch, but I suppose it's probably more to that. But okay, I suppose that'll have to do for now. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend. You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanet Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. Yeah. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions and we shouldn't miss it. I don't know. Having all the leaders in one place just seems like an opportunity for people to have more assassinations. The chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanzerville, and their schemes. Let's go then. Okay. So Triss is our inside person. She has the information that, and can personally attest to, all the things that we assumed before, but couldn't quite confirm. So I think that is the biggest asset that she brings, is that she can be our number one witness, whereas in a straight out fight, of course, yeah, Saskia as a dragon, assuming we might have been able to actually get her back on our side and not be entirely mind controlled, probably would have still been best. But with that being said, I think this is probably a good place for us to wrap up this episode, so I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one.